David Cutcliffe has committed himself to running the football better this year, and that is exactly what he has done. 34 and 21 in his fifth year as the head coach of this Ole Miss football team. He says they need to take it to the next level. Alabama won the toss, deferred, so Ole Miss will receive. And a flag down as the ball sails out of bounds. Second down and six from the 39. The game from Eli is complete to Chris Collins, the senior. Here's our Chevy starting lineup after that Ole Miss first down. Third down and six. The out pattern is caught by Kerry Johnson. Ramsey Robinson, the nickelback, on the coverage, a gain of 16. And so we know he's got the leg. He's 16 of 17 on field goals this year. Kick is up and it is good. And Alabama set to take over on their first possession after this kickoff after a 51 yard field goal by Jonathan Nicholas gave the Ole Miss Rebels an early three to nothing lead. Down to the 23-yard line. It looked like a Bama receiver slipped on his cup. Didn't look like Brody was hurting on the throw. Elon Manning looking for six. Got it. Touchdown, Rebels. Team middle. 23. Over the 20, picks up about five on the play, maybe six. Here's the Ole Miss defense. Absolutely. They felt they were in good position in that game. They just felt that the quarterback had an incredible day. We'll see today. Opening the flag, Sean Williams. He's got some running room. Williams runs out of bounds, just shy of the 50-yard line. Oh, Freeland to punt it away. He has done an exceptional job the last couple of weeks for Alabama in the punting department. Good high coverage kick. That will bounce at the nine and bounces into the end zone. And off goes to Turner. Turner with a hole, takes it out over the 30. They will spot it at the 34-yard line. A 15-yard pickup. Charles Jones finally drags him down. Third down and a couple. Cutter tries to get to the outside and falls forward. It'll be close to a first down. Anthony Madison hanging on from his quarterback position. Oh, he hasn't seen us anything yet. Yeah, I haven't seen any brownies or anything, Mom. Manning going deep. Looking for Terry Bell. He's got Bo averaged 45, almost 46 yards a kick last week against Southern Miss. Good kick. That'll send Espy back to inside the 30. Espy trying to get a block, gets one. Espy down the right side, and he steps out of bounds at the 36. Remember 1989? Ole Miss jumped out to a 21 to nothing first quarter lead in Jackson, Mississippi. The Tide came back to win that one 62 to 27. Manny passes caught by his tight end Eric Rice, who is might be healthy for the first time in a long time. They need a turnover more than anything. Yeah, absolutely. They need something to happen. Turner bounces to the 15, to the 14. Gain of seven. It's Turner to the 10. And that will be a first down. Tackle made by Antoine Odom. 
First and ten. Handoff. Brandon Jacobs. Touchdown, Rebels. Right up the middle. And you're going, wow, we're down 24 points. We've got to get him back in a hurry. But you don't. You've got a long time in this game to play. Well, he doesn't want to run a whole lot with a bad shoulder. He gets down on the turf. Oh, he hit him late. Yeah, late hit. McKinley Boykin. Oh, this is the shock of all shocks if you're an Alabama fan. First down and 10 for the Crimson Tide. Here's Ray Hudson. Ray running hard. Ray has really caught the eye of the coaches the past few weeks. He's running hard. Gain of six there. And the fact that Ole Miss rushed for 49 yards helped that passing game a little bit. Good hard running from Ray Hudson. He'll take it inside the 30. Gain of nine. He'll get the handoff again. Ray Hudson down close to the 20. No marking about the 21-yard line. And another big chunk of yardage for Ray. A gain of eight. Early kickoff. They might not have been uh, quite awake to that time of the morning. Trying to get the first down. It was second down and two. He might have moved the chain. First and ten. Coyle to throw it. As his man. And that'll be a gain of about nine for Tim Castile, the true freshman out of Birmingham. He's just keeping it under control, not trying to do anything spectacular, just move the chains. Handoff goes to Shaw Williams, who's back into the football game. He needed about two and a half for the first down, and that will be very close. I think they'll probably move the chains. And he has the football now, looking for six, and give it to him. Sean Williams takes it in from the four, and the Tide are on the board. <laughs> Mathematics. <laughs> I don't even have a comment for that. Cody <laughs> Ridgeway lets a kick just sail into the end zone. He hammered it 64 yards. They're at the 20-yard line. They just had a nice 65-yard drive. Royal is going to throw it. Out pattern. It's caught on the far side by Dre Fulgham, the senior. Here's Williams. Picks up eight on the play. L.P. Spence brings him down. John Williams spins. That'll be a first down for the Crimson Tide out over the 45-yard line. Pearl's pass is caught by Triangus Luke. The senior out of Phoenix City, Alabama, picks up 14. <laughs> I, I knew what I did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. No, I said that. Oh, See, oh. You just think you said that. <laughs> Troy has some time. Throwing deep as his man caught at the five-yard line. It's full jump, covered by Travis Johnson. Royal dropped at the 15-yard line. Kick is up, and it is good. So another pretty good drive from the Crimson Tide. Clock moves under four minutes. Here's the handoff to McClendon. McClendon close to the first down marker, which sits it to 34. Remember, he blew out his right knee in the spring of last year. But McClendon has certainly picked up some of that slack as he picks up the first down, and a flag comes flying in at the 45 after the nine-yard pickup. That moves it real close to the midfield stripe, and it's first down and 10. Play action. Manning going up top again, looking for his favorite target, Collins. And a flag goes down to Collins. Dilton very nearly made the catch. Hope it was one time. He got a page for him once. I'm sure his wife would like to know. One time. <laughs> Manning, play action. Going to the end zone. Got his man. Touchdown, Kerry Johnson. Alabama only has 
has a minute 39 to work with here before halftime. Here comes some pressure. Pass is caught at the 30 by Brandon Greer, a junior out of Rainbow City, Alabama. Luke makes the grab. That'll be a first down, and a flag comes in late after the gain of eight. Justin Wade makes the tackle. Third the run. Face mask infraction. Incidental. Five yards. First down. The incidental is when the hand just gets on the mask. The 15 yards is when you use it to tackle. Coyle steps up in the pocket, fires a bullet, has his man at the 42-yard line. Boy, that was a nice pitch and catch to Brandon Greer. He just stepped up and threw a bullet. I mean, that was a nice look at throw. You got any doubts about his shoulder? Not anymore. Nope. Another bullet over the middle, and it's picked off. He overthrew his receiver, picked off by Vaughn Hutchins, looking for Triandis Luke. 21-0, Alabama trailed at the end of the first quarter in Jackson, Mississippi, but the tide came back to win 62-27. So there is some history here, but right now, Dave, I don't know if there's anybody in this league that could stop this Ole Miss offense, right? I mean, they, first of all, just to put some numbers to this, they average just under 40 points a game, which is seventh nationally, first in the league. They're third in the conference in rushing. They are first in the conference and fifth in passing, fifth nationally in passing. And they're 505 yards of total offense, first in the Southeastern Conference and third in America. Well, they, they've got a hot quarterback. You're exactly right. The stats are all there. But they've got a quarterback that is on. I'm talking about he's in one of those moments when you just dream about it. That will do it for the first half. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's exactly what you give up. You give up the rush. Good kick from Bo Freeland. That'll send Espy back to the 19. Mike Espy flagged down at the 20-yard line. We'll wait on Thomas Ritter to give us the signal. That's the hand in the back. Log on to jpsports.com to register and then start practicing your field goals. Bell South, listening, answering. Deshaun Pearson, the sophomore at a Ripley, Mississippi, picks up 10 on the play. Pearson out over the 30 to the 31 yard line, gain of nine. Old Miss goes for the fullback, Lorenzo Townsend. And Pretty good indication of what Ole Miss is trying to do here in the second half. Good hole off the left side for Pearson. Roman Harper brings him down, and Pearson in that uh, tailback by committee did not have any carries in the first half, so he's very fresh. And Do you remember what Ole Miss ran last year, what their running game was? Pathetic. It was ugly. Swing pass. A lot of room for Pearson. John Pearson is your tailback. Manning stumbles, but fires pass is caught. Collins breaks a tackle to the 10. Down to the six-yard line. Charles Jones runs him out of bounds. Here we go. Third down and goal from the three. In motion is Pearson. Manning drops back, scrambling, diving for the end zone. He stands at the 35, looking straight into the sun. A little good kick from Bo Freeland. Espy able to make the catch. Espy trying to get to the outside. This time Alabama has it read extremely well. Espy with a 38-yard line. Roman Harper makes the stop. It's an opportunity for guys like Juwan Garth to see some oh, time, yeah. and you might find that diamond in the rough. Absolutely, and I think they have one. Oh! Punt is blocked. Alabama will take it into the end zone from the 22-yard line. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. 38-16. He just got a little bit, just a little complacent in there. Took a look, looked like he took just a little bit longer and allowed the defense to come in there. But a great play for Alabama. It might put it back. Oh, there's another one. And the point after his block. Oh, wow. But I think Alabama will take that trade. We'll block your punt for six, and you can block our extra point.
block punt results in a touchdown for the Crimson Tide. Now Robinson kicks it off. McClendon trying to get to the outside. Goldie to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, and run out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Ridgeway, line drive kick. Sean Williams takes it at the 10. Sean Williams has some room on the near side. Good return. Right now, our focus, Alabama Ole Miss on the gridiron. Kenneth Darby, his first action of the game. Busted out over midfield, down to the 40, and stumbles at the 33, Travis Johnson. First and 10. Fumble football. It's on the ground, and the Rebels have recovered. A real vocal leader of that defense. Manning fires. Collins close to the first down marker. Ron, Ronald McClendon, your tailback behind the fullback Rosano. It's McClendon. Nearly lost a yard instead. Falls forward for a couple. John Garth finally brought him down. This is a series that's been dominated by Alabama. They lead 40 to 8 to 2. McClendon across midfield. Ronald McClendon to the 40, to the 30, and knocked out of bounds. And that's what this Rebel offense has been able to do today. They continue to run it. Here's Turner driving his way to the 23-yard line. But we got a graphic, and hopefully we'll pull it up. The comparison between the two after the same number of games is quite amazing. First down for Ole Miss. Freddie Roach makes the tackle. Manning throws to the corner of the end zone. And a flag down. A couple of flags are down. Intended receiver was Kerry Johnson, Ramsey Robinson. And David was... On the defense, ball will be at the two-yard line. First down. Well, how about that Alabama team? They stopped three times the exact same play. That lead, lead fullback, lead with the halfback going in there. I mean, they stuck him, didn't give an inch. 19-yard field goal by Jonathan Nichols is up. And good. Picked off, but caught from Tyrone. Pro throw, and that'll be a first down. And every time I see Croyle drop back there in that number 12, I have to flash back to my old number 12 from Alabama that I played with. Pressure coming. Croyle goes down. Vaughn Hutchins comes on a safety blitz. Might be the first time. When you, when you have 600 <laughs> yards against you, you don't get many go defense. <laughs> Great looking kick from Bo Freeland. I mean, that thing sailed back to the 15 yard line. Mike Espy to the 35. Dave Neal, Dave Rowe, and Dave Buzz Baker. Glad you join us. Ole Miss takes over. Handoff goes to Tremaine Turner. Turner still on his feet, bouncing off a couple of defenders out over the 45 yard line. That'll be a first down after a gain of 12. It's really helped uh, this entire offense rack up 400 and 19 yards of total offense. Continue to add to that trouble. Well, that total, I should say. He said, no, all we do is we look at those, as you said, look at those uh, statistics, look at those points, look at those yards. Turner again, inside the 40 to the 37 yard line. You know, Dave, just looking at that picture of Mike Shula on the far sideline, the thing that came to my mind is I asked him, what's different from when you started coaching in Alabama and now? And he said, I'm a little bit more vocal. I'm a little bit more into the play. And believe me, he will have a marvelous football team. He's too talented a coach and has too many good people around him to not win at Alabama. He is hung in there today. Doesn't look like that bad shoulder's affected him at all. The pass caught by Tyrone Prothrow, and there's no long-term damage if he gets hit on it, but it's gonna hurt like a son of a gun if he does get hit. 
Well, pass caught by Lance Taylor. Well, absolutely. And the thing I was impressed with, Dave Rader, the offensive coach, said, you know, on Monday he couldn't throw. On Tuesday he went out there. On Wednesday he was starting to throw. He, every day he got so much better. The 12 that uh, I watched uh, from Alabama was a guy named Stabler who's a few boosts down. Royal dodges a sack, hits his receiver. What a play from Brody Croyle. And boy, could he turn on Eli Gold, of course, the play-by-play play play next to him. But uh, I wrote that arm all the way to the Super Bowl, my friend. Here's Croyle firing to the corner of the end zone. Got it! Touchdown, Alabama. Nice throw from Brody Croyle. 22-yard strike to Ray Hudson. Lost it up to the corner of the end zone. Pass is caught, but out of bounds by Dre Fulge and Vaughn Hutchins on the cover, so the two-point conversion does not work. Crimson Tide will attempt the onside kick. Bounces up and snagged in the air by the Tide. On that far side. Royal in the shotgun. Pressure comes. Slides out of there. Throws it to his open receiver on the near side. He stays on his feet. Big play for Zach Fletcher, but he stepped out of bounds. Third down and five now. Four wide receivers in the game. Here comes some pressure. Troyal nailed as he lets it go. Pass is caught by Tyrone Prothrow, but Croyle holding that left shoulder. Going through it a few times. Here's Sean Williams inside the 10 down to the nine-yard line. How about Brody Croyle today, Dave? 19 of 27, 233. Now throw to the end zone. Lost it up. Williams, great catch, touchdown, Crimson Tide. John Williams on his fingertips, takes it into the end zone, makes it a 13-point game with the point after try coming up. They ran a fade to the top of the screen and just ran out of room. This time they throw an in route, knocked out of there, intended for Zach Fletcher Vaughn Hutchins on the coverage. Ole Miss. Nine players, 10 yards away, and they almost did it again. The ball sailed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Football players have got a lot of fun memories, as Archie does. Wonderful person. Williams lets it bounce, and Ole Miss will down it at the two-inch line. They deserve it. The Rebel offensive line has done a masterful job today. Fumbled snap in the end zone. That'll be a safety. I want to see if he can do this kick three times in a row. You know how close that last one yeah. was? Jermaine Turner, who almost, uh, or excuse me, uh, Thurman Ward. Well, it's designed to take a little hop here now, take the big hop. Hope it didn't do it that time. Flag down, though, right at the kick. Alabama might have been off sides. Hey, think they're taking some pictures yeah. here or something? And what I love is Langston getting in the shot. Yeah, Langston there, there's Rogers, Langston right there. Information director. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll stand right next to you. Now, Langston can't protect anybody. <laughs> Mike Shula. Not his day today, but there will be plenty of good days for Mike Shula down the road. Ole Miss wins it. We'll return after a, win, uh, a word from your local stations.